Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Thrifty Mommy and we are here once again at Publix to do this week's shopping haul. So my weekly ad runs from July the 29th all the way to August the 4th. We have a lot of great deals going on in store and a couple of repeat deals from last week. We are also going to be working with all the rebate apps including Ibotta in order to complete our weekend whiteboard bonus. So let's head in store and see what deals we can find in store today. <music> So the first thing we're going to be picking up is this Johnson & Johnson First Aid Travel Kit. These are priced at $1.49. I'm going to pick up two of these totaling $2.98. On Saving with Sarah's video, she did post that this 3 off of 2 coupon from the Extra Savings Flyer is working for this product. That will make two of these completely free. So thank you to Saving with Sarah for posting this deal. Next deal we're gonna be picking up are the Huggy Snug and Dry. They are on sale this week for $8.99. I'm gonna pick up one of these and submit to the coupons.com app for $2.50 back. If you guys have to insert coupons from 7-Eleven, there's also a $2.50 coupon on there as well. That'll leave you to pay $6.49. You're gonna use this $2 coupon from the baby book that just came out this week. That will leave you to pay $4.49 in store. And then you will submit over to Fetch. Check your Fetch account because select accounts have 2,000 points back or $2. Making your final cost for one of these just $2.49. I'm also going to be picking up the Huggies pull-up. They are on sale for $8.99. But I'm going to pick up the nighttime in particular because there are two Ibotta rebates attaching to this one. So picking up one will be $8.99. I'm going to use this three off of one coupon from the 7-Eleven save. And I'm also going to be using the $2 from the baby book. That'll leave me to pay $3.99 in store. And then I'll go ahead and submit over to Ibotta for a $2 rebate and a $1 rebate. Remember, there are two attaching, making my final cost for one of these just $0.99. Next deal we're going to be picking up are on the Johnson & Johnson baby products. So there's a couple ways you can do this deal, but I'm going to do it first on the hand and face wipes. These are priced at $3.29 in my store, and they are currently buy two and get $3 off on any of the Johnson products. So picking up two of these will be $6.58. You will get those $3 taken off, making your cost $3.58. Now, you do have a dollar digital in the Publix app you can use, and you have a dollar digital on the coupons.com app. If you do not bring any of your coupons, you can definitely use those. But I have this dollar off of one coupon that I got from the 718 inserts, and I have this dollar off of one coupon that I printed a while back from coupons.com. I'm gonna use both of these. That'll leave me to pay $1.58 in store. Then I'm gonna use these dollar off of one coupons from the baby book, making two of these completely free and a 42 cent money maker. I'm also gonna be picking up the body washes. So they are priced at 4.29. There are a couple of different ones you can choose from, but I'm gonna go ahead and pick up this one right over here. So picking up two of these will be 8.58. You will get those $3 taken off. That'll be 5.58. I'm gonna use a dollar digital on the Publix app and then I'm gonna submit one of them over to the coupons.com app. And then I'm gonna use two of the dollar off of one coupons from the baby book, making my final cost for two of these just $1.58 or 79 cents each. Next deal I'm gonna be picking up is the Spring Tree Maple Syrup. So I'm gonna be picking up the one that is 8.5 fluid ounces. This is a swag box deal. If you do read the fine print, it does work for the 8.5 or the 12.5. But if you can find the 8.5 fluid ounces, it is an even bigger money maker. So I'm going to pick up two of these at $4.89 each. That'll total me $9.78. I'm going to submit over to Swagbucks for $20 back on two, making my final cost for two of these free and a $10.22 money maker. Now, before you go check out and pay for these products, make sure you have them in your swag bucks because they can disappear at any time. That's how swag bucks is. I don't know why 
they do that but if you are going to purchase these to get the money maker make sure before you hit that checkout line it is still there in your swag books next deal i'm going to be picking up is this nando's peri peri sauce it is on boga this week for 3.99 there are different ones to choose from you got the garlic medium hot and then just the regular medium i'm going to be picking up the garlic medium and I'm gonna submit over to Ibotta for $1.50 back on each of the bottles, making my final cost for two of these just 99 cents. So great little product to go ahead and try. Next item I'm gonna be picking up is the Success Garden and Grains Rice. So these are on sale at my store, two for $3. And we have a dollar back over on Ibotta with a limit of five. So I'm gonna pick up all five of these and I'll just get them for 50 cents each, which is an amazing deal. Next deal I'm gonna be picking up is this Kraft Mac and Cheese Deluxe. It is BOGO this week at $3.83. I'm gonna pick up two and submit to Ibotta for a dollar back on each box. Making my final cost for two of these just $1.83 or $0.92 cents each. And don't forget to submit over to Stocking Spree to get some points towards your spend 50. Get a $10 gift card for Publix. Next deal I'm going to be showing you guys is on the all laundry detergent. It is BOGO this week at $5.75. You can pick up these right here or the concentrated ones. They are also $5.75 on BOGO. I'm not going to be picking up this deal because there's a better deal over at Walmart where you can get it for like $0.47 cents if you have the $1.50 coupon or um, $0.72 cents if you have the $1.25 coupon. But if you guys only shop over at Publix, then I want to go ahead and show you this deal. So you're going to pick up two of these and you're going to use a $1.25 coupon from coupons.com and a $1.50 insert coupon and I'll link it down in the description where it came from. That'll leave you to pay for two of these bottles, just $3 or $1.50. Next deal I'm gonna be picking up is actually a deal that Couponing with Jackie posted in one of her videos. And I wanna see if it works for me here at my store. So what you're gonna do is pick up two of these Nexus hair masks. They are priced at $2.99, that'll total you $5.98. I have this eight off of two coupon that I printed off of coupons.com that I will be using for this product. As you can see in the fine print, it says for Nexus shampoo or conditioner. It doesn't say anything else, so it should work. If it does, that will make two of these completely free any $2.02 money maker. Now, if you do have the five off of one coupons that we usually have for these, then it would have been completely free and a four dollar and two cent money maker. another deal you guys can pick up is on the nexus shampoo now this deal i did do last week in my Publix video picking up two of these will be 926 and then you would use two of the five off of one coupons from coupons.com that'll make two of these completely free and a 74 cent money maker now if you only have this eight off of two coupon then you will pay $9.26, use this eight off of two, and that'll leave you to pay $1.26 for two of these. Here's a deal for all my YouTube friends who have pets. So these bag and strips are BOGO this week for $3.99. There is a $1.50 off of two coupon in the five to save. Now that coupon does expire on August the 2nd. So if you wanna do the deal, you need to come before August the 2nd. That'll leave you to pay $2.49 for two of these bags or $1.25 each, which is a great deal because one bag is $3.99. Next deal I'm gonna be picking up are on these Cliff Bar Energy Bars. So in order to get the Ibotta rebate, they have to be the coffee collection. Now, when you guys see this video, this Ibotta rebate may be over with because it does have a couple of hours left, but you just check your Ibotta account to see if you guys have it there. So I'm gonna pick up one of these for a dollar, submit to Ibotta for 50 cents back, making my final cost for one of these just 50 cents. And it is a limit of five, so if you guys want to pick up all five, you can go ahead and do so. You'll just pay 50 cents. Each. Next deal I'm going to pick up is an amazing deal on the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. So these are 10 for 10 this week. I'm going to pick up eight of these. That'll be $8 I'm going to pay in store. Then I'm going to submit over to aisle for $2 back on each of them because they are five ounces. And if you read on the fine print, it is for the five ounce containers. So $2 back on each of them, that'll be $16 back over on aisle. And then submit over to fetch for a dollar back on three 
making my final cost for all eight of them completely free and a nine dollar money maker next i'm going to be picking up these once upon a farm smoothies these are on bogo this week for two dollars and fifty cents I'm going to pick up two and submit over to Ibotta for a dollar back on two, making my final cost for two of these just $1.50 or $0.75 cents each. Final deal I'll be picking up today is the Dan and Danimal Smoothie. So they are again on the BOGO for $3.09. I'm going to pick up the six pack because I do want to get the checkout 51 rebate. It did reset once again. So picking up two of these would be $3.09. I'm going to use these dollar off of one coupons. I was able to print out two more off of my husband's computer. If you already printed these out, just check on a different computer or maybe through your cell phone to see if you can print out two other ones with different pin numbers. That'll leave you to pay $1.09 in store. And then you'll submit over to checkout 51 for a dollar back on two with a limit of three, making your final cost for two of these just nine cents. All right guys, so this is everything I plan on picking up today for my shopping trip. Now I do plan on rolling my $50 gift card from last week's trip. So I'm gonna pick up another one of my gift cards. It's actually right here on my cart to get $10 off of my groceries. As you can see, the offer does end on July the 30th. So if you guys still wanna do this uh, $50 MasterCard deal, you have until Friday, July the 30th to go ahead and do it because we do get a new extra savings flyer on Saturday. So that'll take off $10 off of my groceries and I'll be able to pick up another gift card that I can roll at another time. So let's head over to check out and see how well we did with all our deals. All right, guys, so we made it back from Publix, and this is everything I picked up this week for our weekly shopping haul. So we had a great shopping trip, no issues in store, and I was able to pick up everything I wanted and some additional items that I was not expecting, but they did have I bought a rebates and I thought they were great deals, so I picked those up as well. Now, there was one thing, and it was actually my fault, the three off of one paper coupon for the Huggies pull-up, I could not find that coupon anywhere. So I had to simply check out, pay for everything, step aside, and look for the coupon. I did find this, so I just walked over to customer service and they did give me my $3 back. Other than that, everything went perfect. Even our eight off of two coupon for the Nexus came off, no beeping. So that made a nice little money maker on these Nexus. I also did the $50 MasterCard offer once again. It is ending on July the 30th. So if you guys are interested in doing this or rolling your gift cards, today is the last day to do that $50 MasterCard. So I did do three separate transactions for my entire shopping trip. I did one receipt for the Spring Tree Maple Syrup. That is a swag but steal. I did an entire receipt for the rest of the items you see here, except for the Once Upon a Farm. And then because I forgot the Once Upon a Farm when I was checking out, I just walked back in, picked up two of the Once Upon a Farm because my son really loves those and I wanted to do the deal. I did these in a separate transaction. So let's jump into receipts really quickly because I have a lot of receipts to show you. So the first receipt is on the Spring Tree Maple Syrup. They were priced at $4.89 each. Order total was $9.78 and I did pay this in cash. And then on our second receipt was for the Once Upon a Farm. They were priced at $2.50 so I just paid the $2.50 in cash. And then on our third receipt, which is the really long one with all the other items, I picked up all the rest of the stuff. Everything rung up perfectly fine. I'm just gonna walk my way down towards the bottom here because you guys already saw the breakdown. I did pick up the $50 MasterCard. We did get that $10 taken off with the $4.95 fee applied for the activation of the $50 gift card. Here are the rest of my coupons. You have the ones with the names on them. These are the ones from either the baby book or from the extra savings flyer. Everything else was a vendor coupon. Here are my digital coupons. You have the 250 for the Huggies diapers, which are these right over here. The dollar for one of the Johnson products. And then I had a digital booster on the Publix app for a $5 off of a $30 shopping trip. Now definitely check your Publix app. They are giving these digital boosters out to select accounts. 
you can find this digital booster over on my wallet or when you open up the app it will be all the way at the top i think you have to clip it um i'm pretty sure you do you just clip it and it will be added to your next shopping trip so my order total here was 76.96 now you do have to take off the three dollars for that paper coupon that I did have for the Huggies pull-ups that I wound up finding after I completed my shopping trip. So it was um, $79.44 with the tax minus the three, so it was $76.44. I did roll the $50 MasterCard from our last Publix shopping haul. So I only paid in-store $29.44 and I had a savings of $69.19. So adding up all of our receipts, I paid in store $38.72. I submitted my receipt over to aisle for the Good Culture Cottage Cheese. It was a limit of eight, but you would get $2 back for each of the containers. So I got a total back of $16 over on aisle for the Good, good Culture Cottage Cheese. Then over on the Fetch, I got a total back of $3.24. I got a dollar back for submitting for three of the cups of good culture. And then I got $2 back for the Huggies diapers right over here. It is on select account, so definitely check your account before you do this deal. Then over on Swagbucks, I got $20 back for the spring tree maple syrup. Over on Ibotta, I got a total back of $14.50 in rebates. So I did get the dollar back for the Once Upon a Farm. And then I got $13.50 for the rest of the items I submitted. And I got an additional 50 cent bonus for the success rice that you see right over here. Then over on Stocking Spree, I did submit for the Kraft Mac and Cheese Deluxe and I got a couple points back on that one. And then over on Checkout 51, I got a dollar back for submitting for two of the Danimals smoothie. So I got a total back for all of the rebates, $55.24. If you subtract that from what I paid in store of $38.72, this entire haul, including the $50 gift card, came out completely free and a $16.52 moneymaker. Now I am missing a dollar digital coupon from the coupons.com app because when I went to submit for the dollar on coupons.com, that digital coupon disappeared. So if I would have had that additional dollar, it would have been a $17.52 moneymaker. But I'm not mad a dollar, I'm not gonna fight about it. It's still a $16 moneymaker so i'm really happy about it now if you guys decide you don't want to do the 50 dollars mastercard and you don't have a 50 dollars gift card to roll on your shopping trip then you would pay about 48 dollars and 77 cents for everything you see here and you would submit to all of your rebate apps and get back 55 dollars and 24 cents making this haul free and a six dollar and 47 cent moneymaker so it's really up to you if you want to pick up and roll your $50 MasterCard or you just want to do all the items you see here and not bother with any of the gift cards, it will still be a freebie haul. Now, the other thing I want to tell you guys, there are a couple of additional deals you can submit over to Stocking Spree that are going on this week, like on the Cracker Barrel Mac and Cheese. It is BOGO this week. You can submit to Stocking Spree. And um, the Pampers deal is buy two, get $8 off, I believe. That is also a great deal. You can submit over to Stocking Spree for the spend 50, get $10 gift card over at Publix. So those are some additional deals you guys can do, including this Kraft Mac and Cheese, that probably you'll reach the spend 50, get $10 back, and then you'll get a $10 gift card to add to this shopping haul. So you guys, this is all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We are so close to a thousand. I am so excited, you guys. You guys are awesome. Please continue to share my videos. Tell your family and friends. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing and joining the family. I'm so excited once we reach those thousand subscribers, I will be doing a giveaway. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Be blessed and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.